If you have an idea for a game that you want to make, the rest of the steps involved can seem incredibly daunting. Learning to code from scratch can take months, if not years, and building your game's basic setup can also be very time consuming on its own. Thankfully, new engines have been made available in recent years that cut out a huge amount of work and provide an almost cookie cutter style approach to building games. So what makes RPG Maker stand up from the others, and why should you use it? I'd like to preface this video by saying that everything from here on is my own opinion, and that ultimately, the best engine to use for your game is the one that suits your needs, skills, and comfort levels. I'll also mostly be focusing on RPG Maker MZ, as it's the latest engine at the time of this video. RPG Maker was built with old school RPGs in mind, and it gives you the basis to make games of the same ilk as the early Final Fantasy games. But that mould has been broken quite a few times, with very popular and unique games being developed with the engines such as Amori, Peace of the Painful, and To the Moon. At its core, RPG Maker games can be broken down into three basic scenes for you to customise. The maps, the menus, and the battles. The maps are generally where the player can move their characters around and interact with environments. Menus are where the player can check on their progress and update stats through equipment, items, skills, etc. The battles are where those stats typically come into play, with the player being made to focus on tactics and levelling up to succeed. If you're looking to make a strictly retro RPG, then that's ideally all that's required. But these things can be customised in-engine using that cookie cutter style code, called events. Events are a very simplified way of coding that allow you to click a button, or event command, to input a chunk of code in a user-friendly way. RPG Maker games can also be customised with plugins, which are external snippets of code written in JavaScript that can be customised through a user-friendly manager. There's a huge array of plugins available for RPG Maker MZ. Many come packaged with the engine in the DLC folders, and there's a growing collection of plugins available from the community as well. That's not to say that the engine will be able to do absolutely everything you might need for your game, but it's a surprisingly powerful tool if you know how to manipulate plugins and events. Don't let your first thought be that something is too complicated for RPG Maker until you've done your research into whether an existing plugin or series of events could work for your project. In terms of graphics, music, sound effects, and other assets, the RPG Maker engines come fully packaged with a complete set of resources that you can use to create your games. At the very least, these are incredibly useful for prototyping your game, or using as placeholders before finding more fitting assets later in time. There is also a huge offering of both free and paid resources on RPG Maker's official website and forum, as well as itch.io and other sites. RPG Maker itself is of course a paid tool, but many of the brand's engines offer a very generous trial period which gives you time to explore the engine. From their website, you can try RPG Maker MZ for free for 20 days without needing to input any payment details. There are also two free sample games available on Steam and the RPG Maker forum that showcase various features from MZ, called Wind's Rhapsody and Wolf's Gang. You don't need to own RPG Maker to play these games either, so they're a great way to see what the engine can do. You're also free to use RPG Maker to expand on these games if you wish to open them in the engine and find out how things were made, or if you wanted to use the graphics and assets for your own projects. When it comes to the price of the engine itself, it released for 80 US dollars and can be frequently seen on sale at different times of the year from both the official website and Steam. 80 US dollars may seem like a large sum to pay, but it's a one-off payment for a license that you keep forever. That also includes the license to use the engine's assets, which would likely total up to thousands of dollars if bought from third-party asset sellers. In all, I would highly recommend checking out the engine's free trial as a starting point, and finding out whether it's suitable for your game idea before purchasing. The RPG Maker motto is that it's simple enough for a child, but powerful enough for a developer, and that's a sentiment I couldn't agree with more. But with that, keep in mind the engine's limits if you're planning to create an incredibly complex or demanding game. Thank you for watching, and good luck with your projects.